what up fellow earthlings welcome back to the channel and if you haven't ever been on my channel my name is austin lee hires aka the king of junk this is manny the man and at the beginning of almost every video i put out a shout out right here on my hand but today we're going to do it on manny's hand so manny put the shout out up for me please all right guys this person right here Thank you, where, where's my finger at? Beep, beep. <laughs> Thank you for constantly commenting on my channel. And if you want to be the next one to get shouted out on my channel, just go ahead and comment down below. And uh, we'll go ahead and shout you out on the channel at some point in time. I'm sure you'll get on there because we're not going to stop making videos anytime soon. This video is going to be about the whole day, guys, of us picking up dumpsters and dropping off dumpsters. And uh, really just a day in a life of junk removal. We have a few tips to share with you throughout the day. We are uh, the Austin and Manny from the future. We're actually done with the day, guys. So we're going home. Yeah, but we... right now I'm going to go ahead and play for you our day that we had today. There was pretty uh, some pretty exciting moments. And, uh, you know, we always have fun. So we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much for joining in. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. We'll talk to you soon. Peace. We're here picking up our first dumpster of the day. Today we have all dumpster pickups and drop offs and they're lined up perfectly so we can pick one up, dump it, drop it off and uh, do it all over again. <laughs> if you haven't hit that like button yet, now is a good time to do it. Also hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed already guys. This is a great channel with great content and great information. So today we're training Manny. Uh, he can do it and he's doing a great job so far guys. Look at that full load of cardboard boxes, literally. It's gonna be a nice, easy, uh, easy on the pockets dump fee. Say what's up Kanezo. Leave a comment down below with what's up Kanezo if this is your favorite dumpster. All right, pull forward. You can just pull straight out, I think. Let's see if you can just pull straight out. See the big machine? Big machine over there, it packs the uh, trash down into these trucks so that they can fit as much as possible in there. They make these trucks about 80,000 pounds. That's the max they can drive legally uh, for these huge semi trucks down below. All right, look at that. All cardboard, a couple of uh, pallets in there. Not too bad though. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this one for my dad. I'll save this one for you, dad. There's a couple of pallets here. All right, dad, if you're watching this, got you a nice pallet here. Let me know when you want to come get it. And everybody else that's watching this, hit that like button and that subscribe button. Thank you very much. We're going to go do our uh, dumpster drop off here. We're going to drop Kanezo off at another house. Uh, so this way, we're literally flipping our dumpsters uh, and they're never returning to the office. So that way we're always making money with our dumpsters, guys. That's the goal. That's the way you want it to happen uh, when you're renting dumpsters. You just keep flipping them and keep them out, keep making money with them. $12.04, that was our dump fee on that. All car cardboard boxes, 16 cubic yard container filled with cardboard boxes, a few pallets, and it only costs $12 to dump. So uh, a really profitable dumpster there, and we're headed on to the next one, the drop off, and stay tuned. All right, this is Manny's second time backing the uh, dump trailer up, and we'll see how he does. I'm gonna help him out here. All right, so keep going like you are. Now start following it back, nice and sharp. Keep turning. All right, there you go. I don't feel Beautiful job, time. beautiful <laughs> job, beautiful job. Yeah, that's you know, it's your second time. After we get like 15 in, you'll be all good. <laughs> time to drop this bad boy off. What if the 60?
a successful drop off by Manny all by himself so we're getting him ready uh, and prepared so that he can do dumpster deliveries and drop offs all by himself in both trucks that way uh, we can start training other people in here when they uh, become part of the let it go team if any of you have questions about junk removal and you're willing to spend a little bit of money so it's only $45 to talk for an hour on the phone with yours truly and all you have to do is click the link down below you can pay through PayPal or credit card any question you have I'll answer to the best of my knowledge hey what's going on everybody my name is Kyle with royalty removal solutions number one in junk removal and hauling in the greater Hartford area Hartford Connecticut that is if you happen to be in Hartford Connecticut in this area and you're looking for removal services 860-834-7888 hit us up for free estimates and royaltyremoval.com check us out hey, I want to take a few seconds just to thank Austin man and this great service that he provides it's called the hour power service you literally call them especially if you're new starting up a business or if you have any questions starting up a small business especially junk removal hit them up man I called him I set the service up you know he took his time he answered every question it was extremely helpful and I could say that I'm in a better place now than I was just from having that conversation especially through all the experiences he has been through any questions I had man he had answers for me and it was very extremely helpful so don't hesitate do it man if you're just starting up your junk removal company you're just starting up your business hit him up man he'll definitely help you out and point you in the right direction and do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button it's right down there somewhere hit that man and as austin would say fellow earthlings peace we'll get back to the video look at this container here guys uh we're slowly making oh, it below the line here but as you can see the customer clearly went over the walls and we have a very strict rule that um, if you go over the walls on our dumpsters that you pay a $75 over the wall fee and they know that up front we tell them that we tell them that on the phone call and we tell them that when we drop it off uh, so we tell them twice look at this look what Manny has to get up here and do because when we tarp this load, it rips our $100 tarp. If you guys are in this industry, yeah, you know you know how much that tarp costs. Um, depending on how big the tarps are, they could range from $65 to $200. Uh, and that depends on what brand you buy as well. But anyway, it rips a hole in your tarp. That's why we charge. What? What kind of chairs? No way. They got the same chairs? Somebody wanted those. Tell me if they're good. <clears throat> so, while we're here guys, I just wanna show you, this is Saturday. Um, this is the remains of our garage sale we were having this weekend in our front yard. Um, we've had, a, what, a couple people come by today? How many people came by today, Kelsey? What? How many people came by the sale today? 22 maybe? 22? And so we made how much money? We made 53 bucks today and we've got like nothing for sale here. It's just uh, you know a bunch of extra stuff. Take a look at this uh, take a look at this chair here. Is there a cushion on it or what? No. I don't know where the cushions are. Can you can you help me grab this? Alright, so these chairs, we sold three of them yesterday, uh, $10 a piece, so we made 30 bucks off these chairs. And we just found another one. Is there another is there another one in there? Yeah. Oh sorry. Wow, it just kind of rolled out of my hand. Like yeah, one yeah, I do a lot of things one-handed. Thing is, I gotta move this couch. So we charged the customer seventy-five dollars uh, for over the wall. They didn't want to pay that fee, and uh, they took a while to actually pay. So now that they uh, actually, they called like what five minutes ago and paid the seventy-five dollars. Ah, she texted the credit card information over. Okay, so yeah, I guess she was busy or something. We got another chair in there. That's another ten dollars, guys. Boom. We'll put it out here and probably have it sold by the end of the day. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. All right, you guys have to see this. You just have to see this. So, this dumpster is literally not loaded. 
uh, properly at all. And let's see here, take the camera and show them like how much space. You can I got you, yeah. So we got a whole bunch of space underneath all here, all underneath there, the way they loaded the chairs, just the way people load stuff themselves. They rent these dumpsters. Um, and we could probably fit this, we could probably make this three quarters oh, yeah. of a load, oh, yeah. at least three quarters. And we could probably fit another quarter in here if we loaded it ourselves. Um, and so they would have got more bang for the buck. But instead they rented two dumpsters. This is our sec the second dumpster they rented from us. And I think both times they paid the overage fee, didn't they? Yeah. Both times. Both they pa they paid the they paid the $75 over both times. Yeah. So All right. All right, guys, we're going to take dumper and we're going to dump him. And then we're going to take him to a another house to be filled up with trash and make us another $325. So it looks like someone broke the gate that they uh, put up and down for everybody to come in. Yeah, so we're stuck here for a little bit. While we're stuck here, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about WorkEase. And some of you may have just joined my channel watching my videos. WorkEase is a uh, software that you use for any service. Any service business can use this. Cleaning services, painting services junk removal services um, you can go ahead and check out workies with a link down below if you feel like it it's free you don't even have to give them their credit card your credit card information guys uh, it's literally 14 days for free you get the full package you can turn on anything you want and use anything that they have um, to the best of your abilities for 14 days see how it works out for your company and see how smooth you like it look how clean the the uh, website is and uh, how smooth it works between app and online uh, booking so there's so many things this app can do I just wanted to let you guys uh, know that that don't know already uh, I have a affiliated link down below you guys can use that if you end up using them at all um, I'll end up getting a small percentage of that I'm looking for Manny there he is he's sitting back there if you guys can see Manny right there cigarette smokers all you cigarette smokers out there better calm down oh they got the gate working again we're moving forward guys uh, again check out that link for workies down below 14 days for free and it's an amazing app I, I have it right here flip the camera around I'm literally using it right now guys this is workies I use it every day for my business these are the jobs for today we have some jobs lined up for next week already um, I can go in here and check out past jobs so this is these are the jobs for the month I can just scroll through them see all these little colors here these are tags um, these let me know uh, specific things about that job like this one for instance says trashly and it's a dumpster rental that means we dropped off trashly there and it was a, a one-day dumpster rental so that means we put in a pickup for the very next day um, so that's just for example I use it all the time I'm not bluffing when I'm saying it's an amazing app I would not be using it and especially especially for the price it's a great price great price point for what you're getting um, so yes please click the link down below if you're gonna check it out use the link down below so that way you can help me out too all right we're here at American distillery dropping off a dumpster guys they're a return customer and uh, we're dropping off it right there he's uh, man he's getting some pictures over there and making sure that we put everything in the system correctly and we're gonna be out of here guys another 325 check it out so we get a picture from the front and we get a picture from the back to make sure we know what everything looks like what kind of condition it is um, and then we do the same thing when we pick it up and we'll know and we have proof if there's damages because we have before and after pictures of of our containers uh, so yeah that's another tip for you guys if you have these containers if you're renting containers Make sure to take before and after pictures, behind, front, side, underneath, whatever pictures you feel like taking, um, and then take the same ones afterwards. That way you have proof of uh, damage between photos at that site. Boom. You thought I was done earlier. This is actually the last job of the day, the last job of the week. 
So you remember this place from earlier, guys. They're gonna rebuild everything and uh, make it into a really nice distillery. And they're gonna continue renting dumpsters for us. They filled it up in one day and uh, we get a lot of that. They said they didn't want the neighborhood people filling it up over the top before we came and picked it up. So yeah, they did a good job keeping it below the walls. We've been really uh, strict on telling people keep it below the walls and it's really been working. I mean, if you can see this dumpster right here, I'll switch it around. So this dumpster right here, literally you can't see anything over the walls. They did a really good job packing in there and that way it doesn't ruin our tarp. And that's all we ask the customers, keep it below the walls you know, because you're literally poking huge holes in my tarp that costs 75 to $100. 75 to hundred dollars for the kind of uh, tarp that I have for this dumpster and uh, It's ridiculous So I'm super happy that I'm having more customers actually like pay attention because we're like Saying it more and saying it more strict like listen. This just cannot happen. It ruins our tarps and uh, So on and so forth um, and if it does happen what we're telling what well, I think what's really getting them is saying uh Okay, you know, don't go over the walls. If you do go over the walls, there is a $75 charge. So we, uh, in the last week, we've charged three people the over the wall uh, $75 charge. And they, they paid it no problem. They weren't mad at us or anything, but they just were like, oh, I forgot. Or, or one of them was like, oh, you know, you, someone told me yesterday, but they told me the day before. And that was before she had the dumpster filled. So it, it doesn't make any sense. Um, so yeah. The, the, it ruins our tarps. I'm I'm super happy that the customers are paying more attention to it, and the ones that aren't uh, are paying the seventy five dollars. I'm gonna be completely honest. We don't replace the tarp every time this happens, but we wait until you know we have a, several holes in it, and then it's past like using anymore. It won't keep anything in. We really just we get rid of it, uh, replace it before it gets to that point, and um, yeah. So anyway guys, that's the real last job of the day and the last uh, job of the week there. I hope you guys have a good rest of the weekend um, and we'll see you on Monday. Peace out. Ah!